Prime Minister's tour for East Sipik ended with a visit to the Divine Word We Were Campus, which hosts the new nursing college. With East Sipik in dire need for more health officers, the college is said to alleviate shortages in its health workforce. Higher Education Minister Pila Niningi says more support will be given by the government and enrollment should increase in the next two years. We can go up to 60 students, but this is just the beginning. We have a room. More, more classrooms, more facilities we have built, we will have, but this is just the beginning that we are uh, starting off. So nursing is an important, uh, important job. There are 40 students enrolled for the 2019 academic year. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill says with health and education a priority for the ruling government, learning facilities must be taken care of with a routine maintenance. Many a times we allow this infrastructure to decay and we just try to think that somebody else will come and build us a new one. We should get into the culture of maintenance a little bit more, where we need to have regular maintenance. If there's a leaking water, fix it. If there's a leaking roof, fix it. If there's a hole in the floor, fix it. That's the only way we can sustain this infrastructure so that it can benefit generations of our, our kids for many, many years. Younger Sousia MP and Planning Minister Richard Maru wants DHS to also lift the standard of the institution. He says courses must be comparable to accepted world standard. And as Planning Minister, that's my challenge to higher education and the nursing council. We need to lift our game and prepare our nurses for the global market. That should be our aim in the future. The nursing college is under the management of Divine Word University. Officially open, the Divine Word University, St. Benedict's Campus Nursing College, on this 13th of February 2019. Jack Lopave, Jr., National MTV News.